Hello guys and welcome to another session on uh, laws of motion. Today we are going to take up a very important topic called inertia. Now inertia becomes the precursor for whatever we are going to study in Newton's laws. So it's very important to understand this particular concept. So let's begin. What does inertia mean? So uh, you would have observed this that uh, during winter season, you know, you don't really want to get up and your mom comes and uh, wakes you up the alarm goes off but still you do not want to really leave the bed and come out and get ready for school this is where you are showing a resistance to change or resistance to wake up in this particular case basically guys you are displaying inertia so you are displaying inertia so you can now uh, you would have figured out by now that something where you are resisting to change that that indicates inertia so let's do an activity which is a very famous one you can uh, do it uh, just now so you can get a glass or tumbler and uh, put a card over it like this right and uh, i have put a coin on top of the card now what you are supposed to do is you have to flick the card with force so you can see a screen grab where the the card is in air and just at that instant the card has been just displaced and the coin is flying in the air right wherever the coin was it's staying over there next as the card moves away the coin now starts falling down and eventually the coin falls down so you can repeat this experiment or activity very easily you might have done it already so you can go and grab a glass tumbler from your kitchen take a card it could be some stiff card you can, so for example i have used a you know game game gaming coupon card here and you can use an old credit card of your parents or you know but yes whenever you're using it do take a permission from them then put a you know a, a coin over it and then repeat this so yeah so uh, basically what you know what you're supposed to do is as i will explain once again you have to put a coin over the uh, you know the the card and then uh, flick the card uh, with reasonable force so that the coin falls falls down right so you you'll observe that the coin doesn't move uh, with the card instead it falls down in the glass below why why does this coin not go along with the card because of inertia of the coin the coin did not want to move from where it was right and hence it tends to stay wherever it was but now the card has been removed from the you know uh, from the low side and hence there is no support for the coin and hence it falls down okay now let's say some more examples from day to day life so you can see uh, whenever you shake a you know fruits and leaves fall right shake a tree so let me show you this video where you know uh, a machine is shaking the tree and it's basically uh, some uh, berries are being collected so this is how you do it and then a fast bowler in a cricket match takes a long run up why because you he uses his inertia so he bowls like this he dry, he runs and then the motion which he uses it or you know, in, in which he is helps him speed up or let's say throw the ball at a higher speed so he uses his speed and uh, you know and the ball is with him it is in, in in the bowler's hand and hence the ball is also moving with a great speed so once he releases the ball it carries that inertia right so the inertia of motion and hence it goes with a very high speed to the batsman right this you would have observed another is another example is when you know you'd have seen when you go for spreading the clothes for you know drying after washing typically uh, we give a jerk to the clothes why we want to you know uh, shed all the moisture so why does it get uh, you know uh, the moisture 
gets driven away because when you jerk the cloth, what happens is the moisture particles tend to stay wherever, wherever they were. And since the cloth has moved out from its place, the moisture content or the water molecules stay wherever they were and hence they come out of the cloth, right? So the answer to all the above questions somewhere is linked to inertia. So everyone is trying to resist any change, uh, you know, uh, so someone which is at rest is trying to be at rest, someone is, which is moving, for example, in this case, the cricketer and the ball which is holding, if it is moving at a particular direction, at a particular speed, it tends to stay like that only. So that's some examples from day to day life. Now let's define inertia formally. So what's inertia guys? Inertia comes from a Latin word inners. So you can see this is the word inners which means idle or sluggish. Okay. Next let us go to uh, the you know the definition which Newton gave in his book and what did he define inertia as? So he defined inertia in this book Philosophy Naturalis Principia Mathematica which states that the vis in sita or in sita rather vis in sita or innate force so he is not using the word inertia he is using the word innate force now he is using it in latin but it means innate force of matter is a power of resisting right so the the very power through which it resists what resist what uh, by resisting by which everybody as much as it in in it lies endeavors to preserve its present state so everyone wants to stay as they are they have been right so no one wants to change its state so they want to continue with whatever state they were whether it be of rest that means something which is at rest tends to continue at rest this is the observation made by newton and something which is moving uniformly forward in a straight line will tend to move that move, or tend to do that continuously right so neither the body lying at rest would like to change its state of being at rest or a body which is uniformly moving in a straight line wants to change its state of motion okay now that means this is what is the definition of inertia so hence what is inertia in a nutshell inertia is resistance to change but change of what change of state state of what change of state of uniform motion so whenever but now you can define rest also a special case of uniform motion where the body is totally at rest, no movement at all. And the other case of uniform motion is like when the body is moving in a straight line without much of a deviation, moving continuously in straight line with the same speed that is uniform motion. So hence, Newton is suggesting inertia is that property by virtue of which any object which is at rest tends to continue at rest and any object which is at uniform motion tends to continue its state of uniform motion right so now next is uh, if you look at it uh, there is more information around inertia which uh, if you look at it it says inertia was uh, you know first introduced by whom Johannes Kepler right so you can see that here uh, inertia was just uh, so inertia was introduced by Johannes Kepler is a famous astronomer, isn't it? So he introduced the word inertia in his uh, this book, Epitome Astronomy Copernice, right? So I'm really sorry if I'm not able to pro pronounce it properly, but this is what the book book name is. However, the meaning of Kepler's term, um, the meaning of Kepler's term, what did he mean? He mean he meant that. Uh, from the and 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 uh, you know this word is derived from the Latin word for idleness or laziness. It's mentioned here. The meaning was not quite the same as its modern interpretation. So right, whatever we use uh, for let's say explaining Newton's laws, when Copernicus, uh, oh, sorry, uh, Johannes Kepler gave this uh, term, but then he did not mean whatever uh, you know the current meaning of the word is. Okay, so now let's take some more examples. So, what is inertia example? So, in there are inertia of rest, you can see inertia of uniform speed and inertia of direction of motion, right? The three types of inertia we are going to discuss. So, what is inertia of rest, guys? So, a body at rest resists anything which tries to set it in motion, right? So, something, some stone is lying somewhere in you, you have, you know, you, it will not move on its own. So, hence, in the coin over card activity, when the card moves away, the coin tends to continue at rest. 
and hence falls in the tumbler because the card is not there underneath so hence the coin just falls down but the coin doesn't want to move from its place if the card was there it would have stayed there isn't it now in inertia of uniform speed is a body moving at constant speed right resists anything which tries to change its speed for example if you have a you know uh, a, a train moving at a very high speed uh, right at let's say 100 kilometers per hour here you can see 100 kilometers per hour and uh, it takes a huge braking force to bring it to a halt isn't it so you'll have seen you know uh, 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 and it it and the train the train actually halts after you know covering after a significant amount of distance so hence this is the train doesn't want to change its inertia right or state of speed constant speed similarly something move, is moving in one particular direction doesn't want to change its direction of motion right so you can see on a slippery road while negotiating a bend you would have experienced this your bicycle tends to move in a straight line and hence skids right so let's say if you want to take a turn or a, in a circular path you want to go and you're moving at a very high speed typically on a very slippery road you will see that you know you have to decrease the speed from first of all to take a turn that we'll learn anyways in circular motion but uh, you know typically if you don't really break you tend to go in the same direction yeah so that's your inertia of direction you something is required to change the direction and until unless that thing is available the bicycle will continue going in a straight line it will not change its direction right so these are typical example of inertia now so the thing is how do we measure inertia of any object now so you will see inertia of an object is measured in terms of its mass so that's now mass you would have learned by now that mass was nothing but the amount of matter contained in it but now mass is defined as how much inertia some object or any object is so that is directly proportional to the mass of the object so higher the mass higher the inertia higher the mass higher the inertia you can see here there's a man who is trying to push this rock huge mountain mountainous rock and obviously the mass is so high the mass is so high that it it demonstrates a huge resistance to change its position so obviously you know that entire effort of this man is going to go down the drain he will not be able to move that alone right so because of its heavier mass while at the same time a small bubble soap bubble is blown away by just you know a small you know uh, uh, blow of air by even a child right so it's so it's so light they are so light that you know even the a blow of air from child pushes them away from or let's say set them in motion right or change their state so that's what the difference is right so heavier the mass heavier the object and hence you can now infer also that it takes humongous amount of effort to move or change the state of any object with higher mass whether it is a plane lifting off a train stopping or a mountain being moved right so hence higher the mass higher will be the inertia so uh, this is quite obvious now the a rock with more mass has more inertia than a soap bubble so this concept of inertia is directly related to newton's first law of motion which we are going to see in the subsequent uh, video so once the concept of inertia is clear you will be able to appreciate newton's first law of motion and hence we can build on our concepts of dynamics so i hope you understood the concept of inertia there are lots of uh, lots of day to day events where inertia is involved i would urge you all to you know uh, go and see and observe in where in where in you find something displaying the property or let's say its inertia to change its state of motion right that would be a good activity to do so see you again in the next uh, session next video where we are going to take up newton's first law of motion the journey is going to be exciting friends so be there see you in the next video bye bye